you guys remember Jared Fogel, Jared from Subway, that fucker? They just had a documentary on HBO, and uh, I watched it, man. It's pretty fucking crazy, man. If you guys don't know Jared and his story, he allegedly ate Subway every day for a year and then lost like 300 pounds and then became the face of Subway, which... I don't know what happened, but the things took a turn and he ended up like banging a bunch of little kids in the ass and shit like that. He did it, not me. Which I, I what was crazy about it, I was like, dude, like, I, I just don't understand how you could do that. Like, that is so disgusting. Like, I don't understand how you could eat Subway every day for a year. They don't even use real tuna. First of all, who is doing tuna checks? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's got the fucking... Making sure this shit is actually pure. And what is it if it's not tuna? Is it fucking fentanyl? Like, I don't fucking know what this shit is. Dude. But regardless of how disgusting Subway is, there is one good thing that they can be said about it. Because in the history of every single sub that Subway's ever made, no sub has ever imploded. The one thing that I want to know is when they had like the people who were looking for, you know, all like the, the wreck and everything like that, and like investigating it. Did they ever find the Rubik's Cube? <laughs>